Our Father, we come to you this gorgeous morning, thanking you for your love, this group, and this opportunity. Go with us this day. Be with us. Help us to reach out to others in your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are the things we think, do, and say? First, is it the truth? Second, is it fair to all concerned? Third, will it build goodwill and better friendships? Fourth, will it be beneficial to all concerned? Thank you, President Julia. Uh, today we have a celebration, everyone. Uh, today we proclaim May 14, 2007, Walter Allen Day at Buckhead River. Um, it's a celebration of life at its best. Uh, those of you who know Walter know that he exemplifies perfection. Um, he has uh, perfect attendance in Rotary ever since he's been in the club, since 1966. And he also has a perfect marriage, and he's been married for 52 years. So that's pretty incredible. It was the Apostle Paul, in his letter to the Thessalonians, that he requested the congregation to encourage one another and to be uplifting with each other. And we at Bucket Rotary have been doing this for such a long time that it's a great tradition here that we believe in. Walter, today, you are in the company of some outstanding people. Do the names of Len Bell, Jim Schmoyan, Al Daniel, Reverend Robert Ross Johnson, George Vandernoord, Reverend John Newton, Otis Jackson, Tom Slaughter, Dr. John Wilson, P.J. Duffy, Al Weatherly, and Dr. J.T. Ford resonate with you. Well, these are just a few of the many Rotarians that replicate precious cargo and treasures at the Rotary Club of Buckhead. Walter, you are unique, you are important to us, and you have distinguished yourself, and we want to express our heartfelt thanks for all you have done for our club, and the leadership and the friendship that you brought with it. Uh, Walter, you probably remember back when you joined Rotary, I know I do, not in 1966, but your wife was called a Rotary Ann. Isn't that right? However, on that glorious day when women were admitted into Rotary as members, we dropped the expression Rotary Ann. I think that was because none of the husbands wanted to be called Raggedy Rotary Ann. <laughs> However, Walter, I'm sure that your aunt is still your sweetheart of Sigma Chi. But friends, you need to know and be aware of the significant accomplishments and service above self of our loyal member and friend, Walter Allen, and all he has done and accomplished for this club and continues to do. He never says no. And Dan, we are delighted that you and your family, who mean so much to Walter, could be here today to share in this moment, momentous occasion. I asked him a question. Uh, you know, uh, what is your greatest asset? It didn't take him a minute to say, my greatest asset is Ann, my wife. And uh, with Ann is their son, Huntley. Huntley, why don't you stand and say hi to everybody? Yeah. And their daughter, Mia. Mia, would you stand, please? I've heard of other girls being called Mia before, but the reason why she's called Mia is her name is Marion Elizabeth Allen Mia. <laughs> and her daughters, uh, Walter and Ann's grandchildren, uh, we have Tony Ann and we have Farrell. Would you please stand? <laughs> and with Mia 
it's her fiance who will be married shortly up in uh, North Carolina. Would you play it? please stand? <laughs> and with Huntley is his friend Amanda. Amanda, I've met her before. <laughs> also today with us and on behalf of uh, Walter is Jim and Betty Schmolian. Jim and Betty, would you please stand? Um, Jim is the past president of this club, and he's also the past president of two other clubs. Plus, he was district governor of our district, 6900. Please give him. <laughs> and also with us today, uh, we have our very own Bill Petrie, who is, of course, the Sigma Chi. His wife, Ann, couldn't be with us today, but she sends her best. And uh, Bill and Walter not only were business partners, but they were related, they were cousins. And uh, they were business partners at Industrial Credit Corporation for many, many years. And it's great having you back with us today. Thank you, Bill, for doing it. Also with, with them is Nina, uh, Nina Anderson. And for 30 years, she was the Secretary Administrative Assistant to Walter and Bill. And I met Nina when she walked in today. Please stand, Nina. kind of interviewed Walter for a few minutes after Rotary. I asked him, you know, what his greatest asset was, and he said, of course, Dan. Uh, I said, what's important to you? And he turned to me and he said, my family. And uh, I believe it was uh, Means Davis who was there with me, and he said, how'd you put up with Bill Petrie for so long? He said that, Bill. He said that. <laughs> But Walter was quick to say, well, we had to, we're, we're related, I had no choice. And, uh, but it, apparently Bill's mother was the oldest of the Allen children, is that correct? And Walter had the most fun as a child going into the Petrie house and having a second helping vanilla coconut cake, is that right? <laughs> that was his favorite. I hope Aunt Susie's still around to make that for us. So it is with deep affection, Walter, and admiration that we celebrate and honor the life of Walter L. Allen, Jr. Walter was born in Jacksonville, Florida, and was raised there and also Augusta, Georgia. He matriculated at Emory University with the U.S. Navy's B-12 program in pre-dentistry on a four-year scholarship. But when the war ended, he transferred and graduated from the University of Tennessee, and he then moved to Kingsport, and he had the good fortune also to meet to his left, Dan Farrell. And she is his, not only his lovely wife, but artist in residence. They have two children, two grandchildren that you just met. And at Emory, Walter joined Sigma Chi fraternity, and as an adult, served as the president of Sigma Chi Corps. And he was awarded the highest honor, the Order of the Constantine. Walter's business career as a lender began at age 12, when he loaned his father $100 at 6% interest. <laughs> Can you imagine? In between his lending years, he was a disc jockey. He founded the Allen Motor Company, selling Fiat cars, and managed three Hertz franchises. He also brokered residential and commercial real estate, and he later became an officer and part owner of Industrial Credit Corporation with Bill Petrie. He is now fully retired from business and devotes his time with Ann to renovating and caretaking their beautiful second home in Cashiers, North Carolina, and the Holly Hills Croquet Club. I understand that's where the wedding's going to take place. Can't you just picture it? Walter joined Buckhead Rotary in 1966 under the sponsorship of Dr. John Wilson, our oldest living member. 
Waller was president of the Mark Club in 1970 and 71, and served twice as lieutenant governor of District 6900. He was voted Rotarian of the Year and led a group study exchange to India. Walter will have 43 years of perfect attendance in Rotary on June 30, 2007, not too far away. Walter served on the board of the Atlanta Fulton County Education Advisory Commission, the Council of Economic Education, the Governing Board of St. Philip's Cathedral, the Bucket Business Association, and past president of the Georgia Financial Services Association. He is in Who's Who in the Finance Industry USA. He has been a keynote speaker, a teacher, a trainer, an avid member of Alton Lawn Tennis Association. He is the founding member of the ACC, and that's not the Atlanta Coast Conference, it's the Atlanta Cheap Club. <laughs> Jack Benny has nothing. <laughs> and he also is the founder of Romeo's, which is an acronym for retired older, older men eating out. <laughs> Walter L. Allen Jr. is a distinguished Paul Harris Fellow of Rotary International. He's a worldwide fellow, Georgia Rotary Student Program. He's an Otis Jackson scholar. Walter Allen, you have served your God, your country, your family, your church, and your community, and your Rotary Club with honor and distinction and friendship. You exemplify service above self, and we are truly grateful and thankful. Walter L. Allen, Jr., all honor to your name, service above self. Proclamation to you is our president, Julia Chabin. And Walter, in addition to this lovely proclamation, I also would like to present to you a book called The Gilded Age, which will be reminiscent of all of the years you spent with Buckhead Rotary, at the Jekyll Island Club, the San Susi Building, and the croquet games that you played and, sh and the fun memories you shared with so many Rotarians that are no longer with us and a few that are. So thank you for being a part of our Rotary lives in this club for 40 years. You've blessed us all. Walter has so many friends, it should be a law against it. He has friends everywhere, and we do appreciate that, and I claim to be one of your friends. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, Betty and I have thought about uh, Walter for all these years. You know, no, don't sit down. You stay right here. Uh, trying to get away. Um, and we know, Ann, that he's a frustrated artist. Is that correct? Walter's a frustrated artist? Yeah, I, he and I have talked about art for many years. That we ought to be artists together. He does one line, I do the other on, on the frame. But uh, we thought about that. We figured that now's the time for him, since he's going to be retiring up to North Carolina for the summer. Um, to make me an artist. So what we bought you is a book that says how to be a famous artist in one easy lesson. <laughs> and then we got in two canvases that he can take one canvas and he can experiment with it and the second canvas has to be a piece of art. So you'll have to watch him. I don't see him as close as you do all the time. And he should bring that piece of art to the club probably in some, maybe by the end of the summer. And you need, he'll need some help of course. Uh, and present that art to you as a uh, final action of his famous artistry. And Walter will be a famous artist, I guarantee you, knowing him.